We will be satisfied. Let us be satisfied. Then follow me and give me audience, friends. Cassius, go you into the other street and part the numbers. Those that will hear me speak, let them stay here. Those that will follow Cassius, go with him, and public reasons shall be rendered of Caesar's death. I will hear Brutus speak. I will hear Cassius and compare their reasons, when severally we hear them rendered. The noble Brutus is ascended. Silence. Be patient till the last. Romans, countrymen and lovers, hear me for my cause, and be silent that you may hear. Believe me for mine honor, and have respect to mine honor, that you may believe. Censor me in your wisdom, and awake your senses, that you may be the better judge. If there be any in this assembly, any dear friend of Caesar's, to him I say that Brutus's love to Caesar was no less than his. If then that friend demand why Brutus rose against Caesar, this is my answer. Not that I love Caesar less, but I, wrote, I love Rome more. Had you rather Caesar were living and die all slaves than that Caesar were dead to live all free men? As Caesar loved me, I weep for him. As he was fortunate, I rejoice at it. As he was valiant, I honor him. But as he was ambitious, I slew him. There is tears for his love, joy for his fortune, honor for his valor, and death for his ambition. Who here is so base that would be a bondman? If any, speak for him I have offended. Who here is so rude that would not be a Roman? If any, speak for him have I offended. Who here is so vile that would not love his country? If any, speak for him I, I offended. I pause for a reply. None, none Brutus, none. none. Then none have I offended. I have done no more to Caesar than you shall do to Brutus. The question of his death is enrolled in the capital. His glory not extenuated wherein he was worthy, nor his offenses enforced for which he suffered death. Live, live Brutus, Brutus live. 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 Bring him with triumph home unto his house. Give him a statue with his ancestors. Let him be Caesar. Caesar's better part shall be better crowned than Caesar. Well, bring him into his house with shouts and clamors. My countrymen. Peace, silence, Brutus speaks. Peace, ho. Good countrymen, let me depart alone, and for my sake, stay here with Caesar. Do, stay here with Antony. Do grace to Caesar's corpse, and grace his speech, tending to Caesar's glories, which, by, which Mark Antony, by our permission, is allowed to make. I do entreat you, not a man depart, save I alone, till Antony have spoke. Stay, ho, and let us hear Mark Antony. Let him go up into the public chair. We'll hear him. Noble Antony, go up. For Brutus' sake, I am beholding to you. What does he say of Brutus? He finds himself beholding to us all. T'were best that he speak not harm of Brutus here. This Caesar was a tyrant. Nay, that's certain. We are blessed that Rome is rid of him. Peace, let us hear what Antony can say. 